She's looking amazing. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, what's a pleated skirt? It's, you know, it is what it is. Amanda Batula is here, everybody. Am. Hi. I'm so excited. Two Amandas. I know. Do you know that I forget that? Like Do when you? I call somebody Amanda, I don't think that I'm Amanda too. I guess I feel that way too. It's Do you like your name? Your own, mm, I feel like there's no good nicknames. I tried to get people to call me Mandy when I was little. It Mm-mm, didn't work. That was I. That was like I did not want that at all. Oh, you did. I tried to get people to call me Andy at one point because it was like <laughs> short for Mandy. Andy's kind of cute, right? Andy's really but cute. Andy is not a nickname for Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, do you know what it means? What our name? No. Oh my god, I got it tattooed on me the minute I found out. It means in Latin, "She who must be loved." Oh, that's so sweet, isn't it? Our parents probably didn't know. I feel like I looked it up one time. Yeah. Like, I think it was my first and last name at some like weird website. And it said like beautiful virgin. And I was like, I don't think (laughs) (laughs) I don't think that I wouldn't get that tattooed on my body. I know. I'm glad it's she who. Yeah. Should be loved. Yeah. Do you have an Alexa at home? I I'm we're a Google house. So whatever. Ask them. What does Amanda mean? They'll, They'll tell you. Okay. I play with my son all the time. So it's like she must be loved. That's so anyway, beautiful. so it's a beautiful Lucky name. Us. Um, I would say you're the most like mysterious reality star. Am I? Yeah. And then I when I was thinking about that, I was remembering the article that you had Glamour write about you that I like really agreed with the the, the they called it the most normal girl on Bravo. That was a wild uh, headline for that. Did one. you like it? <laughs> yeah, like, I was just not expecting that to be the headline but I was like wow did it like flatter you did it make you feel like wait I'm (laughs) normal I I felt I felt flattered I guess by it yeah some people thought it was like rude and offensive but I did I guess because people don't want to be considered like normal but I thought it was great because I I looked at it in a positive way too like as in not uh, uh, a stig walking character, James Kennedy, you know, like, yeah. like just reality TV person drama. Right. And, like, yeah. One liners. Yeah. 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 Right. Exactly. Yeah. So I took it like that. Yeah. That's how I, yeah. Interpret it also. Yeah. Cause but I you're a little bit article. intimidating. I think too. Am I a little bit? I think so. Maybe cause I'm quiet. I'm like very shy. I'm such an introvert and I'm very Maybe that's shy why. around people, like new people. Mm. I get so much anxiety. You do. I like hide behind Kyle. That's why I married him because he will have the conversation. And I can just extrovert. stand there. Yeah. That is interesting. And I have learned in my life to not judge people. Like to not think immediately that it's about me. Yeah. It's you know? hard. It's a learning process. Right. Yeah. So there are like a neighbor that I'm like, what a bitch. She never <laughs> says hello. And then after three years, she started saying hello. And then I realized like she's just really shy. Yeah. She wants. So you're you're shy. I am. Like grew up shy. Yes. I when I'm with people that I know really well. And I think that's what like you kind of see on the show, too, is I'm I open up. I'm like a fun person. I'm goofy. I'm very extroverted with people that I feel comfortable around. But when it's new people, I like don't know how to have conversation. I forget like how to speak. I get like really nervous and uncomfortable. But everyone seems like they want like the new people seem to flock to you in a way, though. Like they want your acceptance and like you to like them and stuff. Because in a weird way, I also want I think because my first summer I didn't feel super included like I know the girls like tried to but they were a really close group of friends so I didn't feel like completely submerged in the friend group um so I feel like I'm always trying to make sure people feel like mm. included and comfortable and like I used to text people all the time after their first weekend being like how are you feeling oh, how's cute. it going after the first episode aired I'd be like you know how like how are you and checking in because you've been um, there yeah did anyone check in on you then? No. <laughs> so how? So you were shy in high school, but I feel like you were probably really popular too. We um, by association, I think my friend group um, was they. We all did sports. Um, we had like a big friend group. We were called the Nine. <laughs> oh my god! We didn't call ourselves that. It, like you we, were nine, nine girls? Yes. Um, or are you nines in hotness no, too? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. There were nine of us. Okay. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. We were friends with all the boys. Are you still friends with the nines? 
Uh, there's seven of us now. But yeah. Stop. <laughs> what happened to the two? Some people, you know, just got <laughs> cut. Tight. They got cut. I can't believe you threw out that number so fast. We're seven. Like, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. Because we've had. Yeah. Normally I count, but I'm. You know, it's seven. Mm -hmm. And what do they think about like your your fame? That is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them watch it. My best friend uh, growing up that's in the group will say like she would be like, sorry, Amanda, I don't watch it because I don't watch reality TV. I'm like, that's OK. Do you get offended if they don't? No, I prefer when people don't watch. Really? Yeah. Why? Especially new people that I'm meeting because mm. I want them to know me like as I would want to present myself to someone, not the me that's like yelling at Kyle or like drunk yeah. skinny dipping in a pool or, you know. What aren't we seeing then on the show of you? Everything. Really? Oh, yeah. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I can't hide how I'm feeling ever. I think it's always very apparent, like when I'm upset or angry. Right. Yeah. So I usually cry. I don't hold back. On the show you do. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But I'm saying like, what aren't we seeing of you? I don't know. I feel like over the years I've gotten really comfortable and I just, yeah. you know. We were talking about it before we started, like there. you're in underwear. Oh, yeah. You don't like, care. Maybe a little too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Very comfortable because it is like big brother vibe sometimes, right? Yeah. Like in the rooms. Yeah. There's not like a man. No, there's cameras, cameras. in the corner. Yeah. So you do kind of forget. Yeah, because it's not it's like out of sight and yeah. they're not used. I mean, think about how much footage they have. It's. Every room has a camera in it. Like the whole house, there's filming 24 seven. There's so much footage. Yeah. So you know to expect that like not everything's going to make it. People are asking about this new room that you've been going into this season. Some like blue room. Like, oh, it, the it, club. That's called the club. That's It's the one with like the disco light and stuff. It's like, like bluish. People are like, Amanda keeps going into this like room when you want some like quiet or something. Room? Yeah. You don't know what they're talking about? No, because the only thing that has like blue lighting is like the the club that we call it. Uh-huh. And there's no privacy. There's no doors. Yeah, I'm trying to think what they were talking about. Okay, so let's go back to you coming <laughs> on the show. You're not, you weren't at that time like a lot of other people wanting to be famous. No. Wanting to be on TV. No. Wanting to be in entertainment. No. You're a graphic designer. Yep. So how, like I know you started dating Kyle. Yeah. But did he have to convince you to even come on for the first time? No. So we had like been dating. We weren't official, but I had like met some of his family members. We were together for eight months um, before he broke up with me to film the show. Because I guess he like production thought he was single and he didn't know what to expect. So he's kind of like, before I like screw you over on TV, let me just cut my ties. Um, After eight months, though. Yeah. That's a long time. Because I was like, what are we and what are we doing? Yeah. Because I know you're going to be on the show now. Like you've told Have me. you seen him on the show before at that point? No, this was before their first season. Oh, it was before the first ever season. So when we were together was when I think he had applied for it before we met, but like nothing had come of it. And then while we were seeing each other, the conversation picked back up. Ah. Um, yes. And they were casting for it and all that stuff. So then we were no longer together. And we were both out in the Hamptons and we would run into each other at night. Um, so I would go over there. Late well, you were doing shared houses too? With my friends. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So we would, I would hang out there late at night, which everyone loves calling me a booty call. <laughs> but they were filming during the day. Like they had a job. There were big cameras up. I couldn't just come over to the house. So if I wanted to see him, I had to go over there late at night when they were done filming. Oh, my God. You're still carrying that booty call. Oh, yeah. All people love to tell me I'm a booty call all the time. Still? Yes. What? I, they're like, hey, booty like, call. Know your place. You're just a booty call. I'm like, OK. You're like, no, I'm actually his wife. Yes. Yeah. That's like, crazy. Remember when you started? I'm like, mm, that's not how it First started. of all, okay. what's wrong with starting? Nothing. And hooking up and like whatever. Yeah. You know, it's wild to me because even though I've watched Summer House from season one, I'm like realizing now just like the psychology of Kyle a little bit like he didn't get to really like be ever single for real. He so I was out there in July and then in August I was not in the Hamptons and that's where he like made out with like three girls or something. So that was like as single as he got. Right. But he didn't get to enjoy like reality star fandom yeah. of like girls sliding into DMs like being a free bird, huh? Yeah. Huh. And I never got to enjoy it either. I know, that's true. But we're, we're, like, do you have, do you care? 
No. Okay. I don't think. <laughs> Wait, how I old were you when anyone. you started dating? Um, I was 24. I just turned 24 when we met. So it was a baby. Yeah. And then I was 25 the first summer that they started filming. And then at the end of that summer, he like asked me to be his girlfriend. And I was like, eh, after you just told me that you made out with people. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how I got looped into it. Cause he was going to do the second season. Yeah. And like, what was I going to sit home the whole summer? While right. Out and and it's fun. It's like a fun thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like come hang out on the weekends and. Yeah. And I felt like, again, like protected and like safe with him. Right. You know, he was the extrovert. I didn't have to like, you know, be pushed outside of my comfort zone too much. Yeah. But I also like that he did push me out of my comfort zone to like try new things and, you know, talk to people, be more social. So and be on TV. Yeah. <laughs> do you how do you feel when you watch yourself back? Um, It used to be really hard, but now I'm just like, I guess this is who I am. You don't care. <laughs> I mean, you can't. Yeah. Like, you can't be that hard of a critic on, on yourself all the time. And also you kind of like I know you went through a lot with Kyle on the show, but like you kind of don't get into real messiness with anybody else. Yeah. No. Where like people would talk about shit about you in confessionals and like about your relationship. Yes. You went yes. through it. Yeah. But like other stuff. I'm Personal saying. Level. No, I've never gotten in like fights with my friends. Yeah. I've never had beef. I've never had falling outs with friends. Well, Hannah, a little bit. Yes. But I think that had a lot to do with we met on the show yeah. and being on the show. Right. Um, yeah. There's people, you know, that yeah. was sad, but like before filming, you know, I never had. Oh, before filming. Yes, like I right. never had falling outs with friends. Like I didn't have any. Except the two that got friends. cut. <laughs> it wasn't personal. It was a group decision. <laughs> Did you ever think of not coming back? Like had conversations with Kyle before the summer's coming up like maybe we set this one out there were earlier seasons I think I uh before season seven I had a really hard time I was going through like the hormonal issues like the weight loss people were kind of being really mean on the internet and I was like I don't need this like mm -hmm. I don't you know it's too much for me like I can't emotionally handle it right now um what did you share about that, by the way? Like how, what what hormonal issues? So I went off birth control um, after we got married and then everything was fine. And then in it was like November, December, I stopped getting my period. All right. And then I didn't have it for like a full year. At that point, it was like eight months or so. Um, so and I like had a lot of weight loss. I had really bad hormonal acne. You, your skin looks amazing now. Thank you. It's been an, a, yeah, a journey. Um, but there were times I didn't even want to leave the apartment, you know, like when your skin is so bad and it like hurts also. Yeah. You can't even cover it up with anything. Um, so I was just like really going through it on an emotional level and I was dropping weight like I couldn't control. I was eating more than ever and I was losing weight like crazy. What is this hormonal problem? I don't I just it was my hormones were just at, like unbalanced. It's like post birth control syndrome. I think a lot of Damn. people go through it, just not talked about very much. Did they have to stabilize it with like hormones? So I went to the uh, gyno and then I was waiting for an appointment and then I ended up getting my period back. Mm. And, and did everything kind of balance out pretty much ever since? Yep. I started gaining weight again. I started like feeling more energized. Um, How many years were you on birth control that this can happen? God, probably since it was easily over 10 years. Wow. Yeah. When you started talking about it, did a lot of girls like DM you that oh, they yeah. went through the same thing? Yes. And I still get people asking questions about like, what did I do? What was I mm. like? Who did I talk to? What did they say? Like, you know, all these girls that have gone up birth control and haven't gotten their period yeah. either. Um, that is wild. Our, yeah. Our bodies just kind of need to normalize. Sometimes it's a bigger issue. Yeah. For some people, it's not all just like, you know, waiting it out. So you wouldn't but go back on birth control after no. seeing what it did. No. So now you just have to, if you don't want a baby, have to just pray. <laughs> <laughs> pray. Um, so you were saying before that being in front of TV, reality TV, entertainment, acting, none of that spoke to you as a kid. No, I did um, like acting camps as a kid and, you know, would have like one line. My friends would have like the lead role yeah. and I wouldn't be able to, you know, I'd have one line and I would spend all my time rem remembering it. Yeah. Um, 
that was that was as far as it got. That was like in, I don't know, elementary school. <laughs> So it never you were you like a fan of like the Kardashians loved like, you, Kardashians yeah. loved the housewives like I remember the first time watching it I mean did I ever want to be famous I feel like as a kid yeah you're like you want to be like a famous pop star like a famous actor yeah yeah people but like it's a not accessible dream right you know it's like a fantasy yeah. that you want so what um, did your parents think when you got on the show. <sighs> I just like when I got my nose pierced, and I was kind of like, this is what I'm doing. I'm not asking you. I'm Which, doing like, it. You're committed to that I thing. I was 23 or I was 24. I got it pierced just like a few months before I met Kyle. But yes, committed to it for life. Not for life. What do you think? Um, I don't know. Kyle says he never knew me without it. So he kind of likes it. It. Right. But we didn't see it. We didn't know you without it. No. And no do you ever has. put a stud or just no, the ring? just the hoop. Always the hoop. I always feel... And no offense to anyone that has a stud, but sometimes I feel like the studs look like big, like pimples. Huh. They could. Yeah. 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 Um, and especially being like on camera and stuff. It's so I weird to try to picture you anything. without it now. Yeah. But sometimes people don't even notice it. Like my wedding photos, you could, you don't even see it in half the Is photos. it always the same one or do you change it, yeah. it out? Never. I got it pierced with a, like a bigger one for swelling. And then the second I could get it changed out to the smallest one possible, I did. And also like you're one of the only people left. Like you got to hang on. I know. You know, I got to keep the nose ring alive. <laughs> you really do. Um, but yeah, so m my parents, I just kind of told them this is what I'm doing. Do they watch? My mom will occasionally. She hears more about it from her friends. Um, one oh, of that's aunts, weird. Yeah. One of my aunts watches all the time. And my dad has no interest. Yeah. He doesn't watch Bravo. He doesn't watch reality TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He watch me. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about this season a little bit. Um, like you said, like we do see a lot of you getting mad at Kyle. Um, I, you know, as a married lady, appreciate, you know, showing all sides of a relationship. Because, like, it's not going to be... Rainbows and Right. Rainbows and butterflies. Um but it did feel like something else was a little going on because you were getting mad at him about like when you get mad at the small stuff already, you know yeah. what I mean? You're like, it's annoying. You're walking, you know, it's annoying. Yes. You're breathing, which like I feel like if people saw it in a meme, they would relate to it because like everyone's like, you know, yeah, everyone has those feelings. Um, so you got mad at him about the Jesse thing, which was funny. Uh, the Jesse hitting on page, which that in itself is like hilarious that he's not only hitting on page. But like Craig is like, yeah, that makes sense. And <laughs> no. everyone's like talking about it. And then Kyle brings and wait, what did Kyle say at dinner? He said, like, so do you want to like rethink your like hitting on page? Oh, Which in that moment, I wasn't like like super, super mad. You could see me being like, why would you say that? Right. And then like I wouldn't say like the way I'm going to murder you tonight if I was serious. I was joking. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I was annoyed with him. Like, obviously everything was fine. And I was like, okay, that wasn't cool of you, but whatever. I didn't really get upset until I had gone upstairs to get dressed and I had overheard Sierra West and Jesse talking about how like, it wasn't cool of mm. Kyle to do that. It was kind of weird. And I, I mean, I'm associated with Kyle in my mind. So if people it have beef you. with Kyle, yeah, like it's going to be awkward for me mm. or for them with me. And I don't want that. Like, I don't want his dumb decisions to. But like, that's annoying because Jesse Salmon to his face was like, that's so funny. Yeah. So, yeah, they were kind of like, it was like weird. Like, yeah. I don't know why he did that, blah, blah, blah. So that's when I went back downstairs and was like really upset. You were upset. Yeah, I you, was mad. You, like you almost started, you cried. I don't know if I cried. I was just angry. Do you think something else was going on a little bit? Like it was just like you, the whole summer. Yeah. Oh, I think Kyle and I were in like a rut before the summer. Like, I feel like we were just at each other um, and we kind of talk about it in this. We like we went, ended up going to therapy and we did brush on it a little bit um, that there's like obviously bigger underlying issues. And a lot of it does have to do with the way we communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. So I think before the summer, if I can remember correctly, we just like we're kind of like both being like dicks to each other, yeah, you know? And I just didn't have any patience for it. Like, I feel like after going off birth control too, my emotions are kind of more, they're not all over the place. I don't cry as much. I'm not like as sad. I'm more like, okay, if that's how you feel, then like, screw you. Like, yeah, you were like blunt at points this season. Like when at the beginning of the season, he's like wanting to spend time with you and you're like, 
I'm good. <laughs> like, well, or also, he's, <laughs> you're like, cool that you want to now, but like, yeah, I've, that was something we used to fight about. Cause all I wanted was him to hang out with me and, and you learned how to like own. be exactly independent, do my own thing. And now that I'm doing my own thing, he's going to like make, try to make me look bad, not intentionally, but try to make it look like I don't like him enough to hang out with him. Yeah. Like, no, I just got uh, used to what you made me get used to. Like, like I you were needier before and now you're like, you can go for a few days. I'm good with the dogs. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm tired of like fighting about it. You and know? now he wants I, I to accept it. Yeah. And then he was hanging out with the banana the whole time. <laughs> like literally after having that conversation, that's why there's so many things that he says that I, it's, I think that there's, he means something else or like there's something else he needs, but the way it comes out, is like, I want you to hang out with me mm-hmm. more And that's not true because then he goes and like is a hypocrite against his own like wants. Yeah. Goes and does something else. So which is why I have no patience for it. Yeah. Like this is BS. You say it. Wait, in your day to day though. In your day to day, you work both from home. Mm -hmm. So both of you are at home together all day. All day. So you are like, it's not like quality time. It's like work time. Yeah. But and then the thing is he's. Oh, that man's always working. He works. So we were just on a flight to Mexico, five hour flight. He was on his computer the whole time, like so excited that he cleared out his inbox. Like he's just always working. So at night he'll work till like 730. I'll make dinner. He'll go to the gym. He'll eat when he comes back. And then he goes back into his office to answer more emails. Wow. Sometimes doesn't come to bed till like two in the morning. So you do have to do like date night and stuff like that. Yeah. So when he's like, I don't hang out with him. I'm like, I am sitting my ass on a couch, not doing anything like you. If you came over, we could hang out together. Yeah. But you're keeping busy. Wait. So does he have an office in the apartment and you work from the couch? Um. So we have. We have like a key elevator situation. So we have our neighbors moved out and now we have both sides. We have like the whole floor technically. So Oh, you rented the other apartment as like an office? The other apartment's like an office. Oh, that's cool. So it's really convenient. Yeah. But, you know, he's, it's still. Is there a bed in the other? No. (laughs) No. I wish. Yeah. Go sleep in the Yeah. Um, No, but it's, I still think it's not enough separation for Kyle from work because he's still able to work constantly. Mm. But that's why I get frustrated because I'm accessible to hang out with. So when he complains about like being lonely or me not hanging out with him, I feel like that's not on me. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I'm here. Yeah. So that's why. And I think a lot of that conversation was happening before the summer, which is why I went into the summer saying I'm in my no patience era. Oh, because like he's complaining about things that like are easy fixes that like he also needs to put in the effort to fix. But it's so funny because like there were summers of like, the like more nagging Amanda of like, hang out with me. Why aren't you whatever? And then there's this like, doesn't give a fuck, like do whatever you want, Amanda. And then the, 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 the script flips. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it's wild. I mean, that's like, it's like human nature slash like things never change. Yeah. So I guess because it was like flipping, um, that was getting me annoyed. Yeah. It's like things that I wanted for so long that I've had to like adapt to. You are now saying that like, I'm not doing those things. So I, yeah, I was just very frustrated with him. In general. Yeah. And also you were saying like, you get embarrassed or like, you don't want to be an uncomfortable situation if he starts something with somebody in the house. But like, no one really cared that much at the end of the yeah. day. But, but there have been times, um, like in Winter House when, you know, like Luke, you know, had his like hand on Paige's shoulder. Or right. That whole thing. And Craig freaked out about it. So like there's he's very protective of her as he should be. But there is a chance that that could have gone south quickly. What do you mean? With Craig. Yeah. Like, remind Craig me. Could have gotten very upset the way that he did in Winter House. Like, yeah. He got very upset with Luke. Um, right. So I didn't want not that he would get that. Oh, angry. oh with Craig specifically Craig, that situation. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't like that was my fear that one weekend that he's here. Gotcha. Could you you want it to avoid like a bigger thing from happening? Also, I think like at the end of the day, what Kyle did was very it was like reminiscent of like a housewives dinner, you know, like very reality TV situation. Like, so what do you think that he said that she said that he said, you know, 
Um, but these people are our friends. Right. The, it's a real day, like, thing. It's harder to just like build a bridge and get over it when you have like very personal relationships outside of right. the house. So I think that you looked like the good person, the common sense person trying to be like, why would you do that? How did the audience feel? Was the audience like mad at you? for they thought I over- Some mm. people, some people were like, I get it. At the end of the day, I think everyone thought I overreacted, especially the way that it played out, um, which probably did because I was already just annoyed in general with Kyle yeah. that summer. Um, some people kind of understood. But yeah, if it if it had just been left at what was said at the table, I wouldn't have come back downstairs and mm. gone upset again. Because you would have seen that like everyone's over it, but you saw that there was some chatter and you didn't want it to like escalate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was also drinking. So, you know, you yeah, get, like how is your drinking? I wanted to ask, can you really keep up with like the shots and the I don't take shots. OK, I for the past, like maybe two or three years, I just put it up to my lips and then put it down for who for for the visual. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, people are like, Amanda, you're the it's only annoying. one not doing it. Yeah. So now I don't even like complain. I just yeah. pretend to do it. If so people- what's your like what? wine what do you drink wine and lover boy and lover boy um yeah those are my how many can you drink I don't I can't drink that much like I get buzzed and drunk pretty quickly yeah so I feel like maybe that's why I don't get so hungover and that's also why you probably want to stay in sometimes because you're like I'm not that drunk where I'm like going to the club right now. yeah like if we are day drinking I end up like plateauing. Like I'm having so much fun. I have such a good buzz going, but there's a point where like I can't drink anymore. And then mm-hmm. you start sobering up and then I'm like, I don't want to. Yeah. And you're like again. hangover at 5 p.m. You have yeah. a headache. Yeah. Um. So a lot of talk about the suburbs moving to the suburbs this season. A lot of talk about babies like Kyle talks to Paige about you not being ready. You think he's not ready. Both of you blaming each other for not being ready. Yeah. That does go back to the communication thing, which is yeah. wild. Like he, th- he thinks you're not ready. You think he's not ready. What's yeah. actually going on? I, so the reason I think that if I was pregnant right now, like we would make it work. I think Kyle's afraid of big changes. You know, the proposal and the wedding was like a lot for him. I think he felt like he needed all of his ducks in, in a row. Like mm-hmm. he needs everything to be like lined up and perfect. So I think the idea of having kids is scary. The idea of leaving the city, the convenience, like the partying, the social life is scary for him. Um, So I think he partly puts it on me that I'm not ready. But what is his reasoning for thinking you're not ready? Um, I think he just feels like I'm lazy. Like he feels like I don't do enough or don't work hard enough or a lot of stuff falls on him. Mm. That's how he like feels. Like in the apartment, like in what, cleaning? Yeah, what? like in life. Just Does he really take things. care of most of the stuff though? He does a lot of things, but I also do my fair share of things and like that doesn't get taken into consideration. So it's not the same thing that he's doing. Like he'll, he pays the bills. Okay, he never gave me the option to like help contribute or like, Pay for the bills. It's not that hard. Did it and isn't exactly. There's like little things that he's like. like, It comes off like auto debit or something. Yeah. Or (laughs) when he's like, I do your taxes. You don't do your own taxes. Kyle and I do the same amount of taxes. We have an accountant that we use. You're not doing it. Yeah. I'm I'm going in my bank account. I'm downloading all of my like statements. I'm putting it into Excel and I'm sending it to Kyle to share with the accountant. Yeah. So like when he says things that like I don't do. Yeah. Sure. He's like the you know, the person communicating, but I'm still doing mm. the work. Yeah. Um, I'm the one like making all the vet appointments, you know, doing, dealing with stuff with the dogs, like buying all that, like taking care of that stuff. So there's some logistical stuff that Kyle does. And then there's other things that I take care of. Yeah. Um, do you think that's an excuse though, that he's saying like that you aren't ready? Yeah. Cause at the other hand, you're, you know, you're over 30. You're talking about wanting a huge family moving in the suburbs. Like you're saying you're ready. Yes. Like you're not, you know, yeah, what else I do you think, need to do? I mean, I don't think you'll ever fully be ready right. for it. And kid. everyone will say that to you. Yes. And even if you think that you're ready, it's going to change your life once that yeah. baby comes. Like, I'm eight never... months pregnant. And I told my husband the other day, like, do you realize like <laughs> it's going to be another baby? This is your second. Right? Yeah, this is my second. Yeah. And one I'm like, to two, they say is like the biggest. 
I mean, but then I was talking to somebody about it. Zero to one is really crazier because you're going from okay. like not having yeah, anything and then to that. But but yeah, I think that my advice to you as mm-hmm. somebody with a baby. Yes. Is like experienced woman <laughs> is like, yes, it's never a perfect time. Yeah. It's OK to have like some boxes to want to check. Right. Like if you guys were still like, you know, making no money, then it's like, OK, you can check like, oh, financially stable relationships in a good spot. Mental health is good. Yep. You know, whatever. But like at the end of the day, you can't have everything be perfect. Yeah. And there is no perfect time to like have your life change. from. Yeah. Forever. And there's people that, you know, don't aren't trying to get pregnant and get pregnant unexpectedly and still are year olds that yes. and they're babies. managing. Yeah. So that's why, you know, I'm. I get a little frustrated with it. And he does handle like lo- some logistical stuff more than I do. Like but there's always plans. one person in the yeah. relationship that does. But travel plans. Like if I book the plane myself, he'll complain that like I didn't do it right. Mm-hmm. So at that point, I'm like, okay, you just do it. So there's so certain things. So he's like things a perfectionist too. Like in, in, yeah, with certain things, you know, I think he always thinks there's a better way to do it. So yeah. sure. That's why he's doing that stuff. Because if I do it, I'm doing it wrong. Is there anything you're scared of with having kids? <sighs> Um, I don't think scared is the word. I think it's, there's just, I know that there's going to be a lot of things that like you just don't expect. It's mm-hmm. going to be life changing. And I compare, I'm not comparing it to having dogs, but that's the only thing <laughs> You'll I can stop relate doing that to. No, yeah. I know. I used to be the same way. Yeah. And then you have a baby and you're like, and okay, I, it's yeah, not I know it's not the same at yeah. all, but still like having to adapt to certain things with that. Yeah. Um, it just, I kind of just like went with the flow. So yeah. I feel like there's going to be things that we aren't expected in hurdles, but I'm not necessarily like nervous about it. Do you want to move to the suburbs before you even? That's how I felt. Um, or at least like when the baby arrived, I wanted to be in the suburbs. I think being close to my parents. Mm. And when I say close to my parents, I don't mean five minutes. I don't mean 10 minutes. I don't want them to like be able to come over unannounced. I mean, like, a 45 minute drive. Because how much is it now? It's like over an hour. Or where are you in Jersey? Where'd you grow up? It's like Hillsboro. It's like in the middle sort of of New Jersey. It's so, kind of nor- a little bit north of Princeton. So would you want to be closer to the city? Close to the city. Yeah. yeah. So that we can still get in. But like my mom won't drive into the city. So yeah. if I need help with the kid. It's like what, So that's more why? Yeah. Just to have, you know, the assistance. Some support. And, yeah, exactly. I have a lot of friends that still live in New Jersey, too. Friends that are moving to New Jersey. So um, and his friends are kind of spread out everywhere. Yeah. Um, but would you compromise and have a baby stay in the city? If so, where we live right now, I don't feel like I would feel very safe or secure with a kid. Yeah. Um, so I feel like if we found the right place that the was right more family oriented, easier access to the outdoors, because we're also going to have the dogs that we'll have to walk while taking care of the yeah, kids. So if we had crazy. outdoor space, whether it's in the suburbs or right. like in the city. Right. You know, there's certain conveniences that I right. think we need. It's true. Um, that would be ideal. Yeah. But you are different than most like city girls. Right. Because like most people are like, ugh, like the, I'm like, oh, my God, I don't want to move to New Jersey. Like I don't want to leave the city. Like so I get that mentality. So it's so interesting about you that you have this like different thing that's like no you want to go to the suburbs it's something that we both talked about like before we even got engaged you know when you're like getting to know someone and you have the conversation like how many kids do you want like you know making sure that like things align the one thing that I loved that is that Kyle wanted to move to the suburbs and raise his family there and have the backyard like we had the same sort of upbringing so I was like perfect you said you said it you would I know I'm (laughs) like what is happening now yeah so I think he's just nervous yeah. of letting go of the city, which I get. It's a yeah. big change. But um But do you see it happening still? It it has to, whether he comes with me or not, yeah. like it it's gonna happen. Um yeah, I just when I'm in the suburbs with my friends and their kids, I'm like so eager and ready. Like to, you want that life. Yes. And then when I come back to the city, I'm like, oh my God, I'm not ready yeah. for kids, you know? So I also feel like that. Do most of the seven have kids in the suburbs? Um, no, they all sort of, most of them live in the suburbs. Um, only two of them have kids, but I have friends from college. A lot of my friends from college have kids, uh, but they're more in Connecticut. Gotcha. Um, 
let's talk about the house you went to see because you do talk about when I go to the suburbs. <laughs> you go to see this house. I remember seeing it on the show and going, that's a beautiful house. Now, I have friends that live in Jersey. I know there can be beautiful houses in Jersey, huge mansions with pools. Something about the house did give Hamptons. So, yeah. Bravo people found it. Yeah. They're crazy. How do they do it? Like, I don't know. They found the listing. Um, I saw you responded to it already. Yeah. But. Yeah. I think it was confusing. And they never said, like, this is New Jersey. Right. And while we were there, Kyle made a comment about, like, you know, not being able to see himself in New Jersey or whatever it is. He made a comment about New Jersey, but it wasn't about that house. Um, like, you weren't pretending no, you're seeing a listing in New Jersey. No. During the whole summer, we were very vocal about getting, like, looking at a place in the Hamptons that, you know, we can come to during the fall, rent yeah. out during the summer to someone else, or, like, you know, maybe stay there during the week during the summer to, you know, not have to do all the back and forth. Just somewhere where you can have outdoor space where yeah. we're not committing to a family home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so we were looking for something smaller. When I say smaller, that was like smaller this, than that place. About that. I mean, that size was probably bigger than I would have thought. Yeah. I wanted <laughs> my ideal situation was like a little shack in the Hamptons, you know, like one of those like beat down. They just need like a little bit of upkeeping. Yeah. Someone else might tear it down, but we can just like polish it. They still were like going for a million dollars. Yeah. So I, like, I this is not realistic. So did you end up getting anything? No, no, no. Are you still thinking about it? Um, I think we gave up on the Hamptons because we realized that if we're going to spend that kind of money on a house, I think we would want more house and in an area that would be more permanent. Yeah. Um, the Hamptons would be like a part-time thing. Yeah. And you would want something that was, you know, appealed enough to people in a location that they would want to rent it. Yeah. Like when you're not there. you mean. Yeah. Um, so what's the thing about that where you were like, I want to get away from Kyle from the city by myself. Like you threw out those comments yeah. like for a month. I don't know. Like, yeah, it wasn't about getting away from Kyle. I just know that he wants to be in the city so bad. A part would you me, really be in the house by yourself? Oh no, somewhere? I would be petrified. No, sometimes so. <laughs> I think I make like empty threats just to like you're like get me him to be, like, in a giant yeah. house upstate. Like, where are you yeah, going to see if he would be like, oh wow, damn. Like, would she do that? <laughs> but no, I would. So you wouldn't. I'm terrified to be in the apartment by myself. Sometimes. Oh, you, like, so but you sounded like, really convincing when you were like, I'll go. Don't tell my Kyle <laughs> <laughs> by <laughs> myself. Yeah, but I also it's like. If he's so adamant about staying in the city, why do why do we have to stay in the city? Like, why can't we? You and the dog? No, me and Kyle. You oh, know what okay. I mean? Like, where like, there's no compromise. It's like if he mm. wants to stay in the city, we're staying in the city. Right. But if I went the suburbs and he doesn't, well, then first we can't of all, you are suburbs. right. Also, in the sense that a lot of people that decide they want the city life and can afford it have uh, an escape. Yeah. Like that does that does happen. Yeah. Um. So, but no, it was just funny when picturing you like going with your bags, just like. Well, yeah, I mean, I was mad at him. I was mad at him all summer, but I was particularly mad at him that evening mm. because he was out till 4 a.m. Oh, that was when he went out in the city till 4 a.m. I was, was it, it in the city or in the Hamptons? In the city. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yes. So I was annoyed with him. So yeah. me saying that like, maybe I'll go out. Where for do a you month go out until 4 a.m.? Like clubs? And I don't, I think he was like, he went back to like, the guys were all staying at a hotel that were out of town. So mm. they were like at the hotel bar or something. And I don't know. I didn't even want to know. You didn't, you were just annoyed in general. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't care what he did or what excuse he had for it. No, damn. Okay. <laughs> let's talk about some other people. Okay. <laughs> let's talk shit about other people. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Lindsay and Carl from the beginning. Were you a supporter of the relationship? Did you think it was going to work? I was supportive of the relationship. I think that like a lot of people, I was a little nervous about how quickly the engagement happened. Oh, you agreed with that? Um, Yes. Not vocally, not like red flag, like don't do it. But more so they knew each other as friends for so long. I felt like they needed to get to know each other on like a more intimate romantic level because there's a lot of differences between friendship yeah. and like, you know, sexual, exp you know, all that stuff. But um, but I was rooting for them. We hung out with them a lot. It was like really cute to see them together. It made sense. They had cute moments. Yeah. Where yeah. it made sense. Yes, absolutely. 
like I felt like there were moments I don't remember like quotable moments where like people do have this conception of Lindsay not I would like I don't even know to put the name on it but it's like she seems you know she's like the scary one in that relationship or the one that can like really tear shit up and I feel like you guys were worried for Carl some of the times yes I, I mean she's very vocal and um yeah there were times where I mean, Kyle is definitely more worried, worried yeah. about it. But, you know, she she's just she's hustled. She wants what she wants. You know, she's not going to let anyone walk all over her. And she's not in a negative way, but she's going to like get what she wants. She's going to make sure that that happens. Yeah. So there is like, a, I think, a fear of, you know, Carl just sort of taking a backseat in the relationship oh. the whole time. Yeah. Um, but I mean, Lindsay's a fighter, like every relationship that she's been in, not a like a words fighter, like fights for her relationship yeah. to make it work. Like she's never given up on any relationship that I've seen her in. Even when it gets really rocky, she's always committed to like not walking away. Did you ever think that their relationship was like a compromise of like two friends that were like, well, when they first got together, I'm not going to lie. I think a lot of people sort of felt like, their like timelines were just aligning and they were crossing each other's paths at the right time. And they're like, you want to get married? You want to get married? You want to have kids? Do you want to have yeah. kids? Like, all right, let's, you know, give it a try. Yeah. Um, but seeing them together, like later on, it felt, you could feel there was a lot there was of love, love there. It wasn't, yeah. you know, just to have But kids. it's weird that like, you've known Lindsay for how many years? Like ten. nine, 10 years. Yeah. And you never really became like friends. Like even like, what you're not you're clearly you're not in the same like vibes like you're not friends like yeah. what is it about her that it's hard to connect to for a lot of people so I think it stems back to the season two reunion oh does it yes <laughs> okay um I I mean these were my boyfriend's like best girlfriends like all I wanted was to be included and like be good friends with them um and they sort of left me out of a lot of stuff. They wouldn't include me. They wouldn't text me to hang out. I'd see them all together. And I get that. Like I'm their friend's girlfriend, whatever. They don't know how long I'm going to be around. But at the reunion, the girls kind of like came at me and it made me really upset. And it, I remember texting Lindsay after being like, like, what do I have to do to like make this right? Like, like just begging to be like, you know, taken back and friends again. Um, and it was never quite the same after that. Mm -hmm. Like still to this day, I don't make plans with anyone, but you know, Lindsay doesn't text me to hang out. You but know, do you think I'm that not maybe you got either. so hurt then that when things change and you kind of became like, it's kind of like, you know, you're, you're, you and your friends are kind of, you know, more prominent in the house. Was it kind of like you were so hurt from that back then? Like you weren't going to let her in in that way anymore? Kind of. And I, I think season three, she like her and Danielle unfollowed me on Instagram and they like the three of us took that. a photo together that they cut me out of. Like I was literally right next to them in the photo and it was the crop to just the two mm. of them. So there were a lot of things that made me realize, like, why am I fighting for these friendships if these girls don't care about me at all? Yeah. Um. So then, you know, when I became closer with Hannah and Paige, I felt a lot more secure in my own skin. And I was like, I don't need their friendship. Yeah. You know? Right. So I, you know, it made me view her actions differently. Because yeah. It wasn't someone that I like passionately cared about. Are Kyle and Lindsay still friends today? Or you had to kind of pick a side? They, I don't think Kyle's picking a side. I, I mean, I can't ever tell what Kyle's going to do next. Um, I know he has a lot of love for Lindsay. He does. Is they that weird had, for you? Like, are you like, what do you like? What's the connection? Like, do you see it? Like, what? Yeah, they like they fight a lot, but they also like will make up. I think they have a lot of forgiveness for each other, but they're also very honest with one another. Um, it's very interesting to, <laughs> to witness that friendship. Yeah. What did you think of her her trying to make Kyle a flower boy? I, I, I understood if, if she did do it and it's not right Kyle. if, cause we don't know. I, I said that too. I was like, everyone's assuming this, which it, it could be a fair assumption, but we don't know for sure. 
Carl is presenting it. Well, oh, Carl did end up saying. Yeah, it he said her. she didn't say verbatim, but yeah, yeah. If she did do it, I a hundred thousand percent understand because if if it, uh, if I was in Lindsay's shoes and Kyle was coming at me and calling me names and yelling at me previous to you know me getting married and was so rude, I wouldn't want him standing up like the mm. day that I'm getting married with everyone else, mm. you know, like I wouldn't necessarily so would understand that. there. So I could understand why they were like, okay, we're not going to kick him out of the wedding, but this is how we'll incorporate, incorporate him. But, um, I know Kyle was really sad about it. Yeah. You felt bad for, first of all, he's had like a, a glow up these last few seasons where like, I he think. looks so good next to, you know, it used to be like, he was the bad boy and he's fucking up and like, you know, and I feel like, other people are fucking up. And he's like, this is what you should do. I'm like, we're in a place right now where Kyle's like the the voice of reason with his mullet. I've taught him a lot. Like <laughs> the amount credit. of conversations that we have at home where I'm like, like trying to explain to him or like get him to see something or I'm like, you can't do this. Like, this is what you have to say. Yeah. You can't, you know, so you're taking like full credit. I'm, I'm taking like 80% credit. And what he's, about the mullet? You don't hate it. And you hate it? I I tolerate it. <laughs> you know, I'm just I there's certain things that I'm trying to be a supportive wife in and I have to pick my battles. Yeah. That's a battle that I'm really. Yeah. Didn't you think it would be a phase? Yeah. <laughs> I how long has it been? Two years? Like two years. I pull up <laughs> photos from the wedding all the time. I'm like, look how handsome you yeah. look here. Like you know, I'll pull his hair back in the mirror and be like, look at how attractive you look. Oh my God, don't give him ideas on like ponytailing that shit or I something. Know. I did French braid it the other day. It's <laughs> like it a rat tail on just two little like, you know, French braid pigtails in the back. Um, Paige and, and Craig, there's so much talk, you know, they're both reality stars and different shows. His fans really want him to settle down in, in Charleston. Charleston. Paige gives like, I'm not leaving the city energy. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think she'll move to Charleston? I, my dream scenario is that they end up getting a place in both spots. Like maybe Craig sells his house and they buy a house together in Charleston and they get an apartment in the city together and they have, you know, they're able to split their Both life? I, for what, like, I think that would be the next step in order for them to really? get engaged because then they're still together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're sharing these apartments. Maybe they travel together. You know, Paige can, can come up here for work. You know, Craig can go down there. But you don't see her moving. I think Paige is really hitting her stride right now yeah. with her career and business wise. Like this is, you know, she's just getting started. Like yeah. she's worked really hard to get right. to where she is now and to just uproot and move to Charleston makes yeah. no sense. There's no opportunities for her down there. Yeah. She'd be coming back to New York all the time yeah. anyway. So I think that that's maybe you saying that breaks the fourth wall a little bit because I feel like that's not being said. It said like, I don't want to leave the city, but you're right. So much of this is like career and like her, her life, not just like friends going out, summer house, but like everything else, yeah. you know? Yeah. And um, she still travels for a lot of other things, but like there's so much happening in the city where it just makes sense to be here. And yeah. Craig has his store. That's so Charleston. hard though. Cause it feels like a, like, I mean, I think it is nice with them too, that they are being realistic about it. You know, people were hating on that, that he was like, I don't know, maybe we'll break up, Yeah, but it's like, but, ma but maybe they'll, you know, there could be a world in that they don't figure it out. I think that they will figure it out in an unconventional way that'll probably piss a lot of people off, but it'll work for them. You think? That's what I think. I mean, they're so happy right now. It makes me wish that like Kyle and I were long distance because I feel <laughs> right. like Wait. having some separate time.